guys, welcome back to the Ivano TV. And guys, as you can see, I have a guest. Now today we are going to talk about uh, similarities about um, Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. We are going to talk about differences between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. Na hala hala wadau kama 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 dawa kama ya rochafu hapa mi ni kwa Bahrain. Okay, so aha. Uh -huh. Kamati ya rochafu atakuwa Kamati TV is here to represent all Kenyans in Bahrain and the Ivano TV is here to represent all Kenyans in Saudi Arabia. So we are going to start here at uh, at Saudi Arabia. So in Saudi Arabia we have a Kenyan embassy. Bahrain we don't have a Kenyan embassy. We only have representatives. Okay, how how do those representatives work? As in, how do they work? They represent the embassy of Kenya in Kuwait. Their representatives are here to help Kenyans. Like, if you have a problem in Bahrain, you can reach out to one of the Kenyan representatives. There are 12 representatives in Bahrain. So, if you are in Bahrain and you have a problem, you can reach one of them and they will assist you. Okay, you have heard, guys. And uh, another one in uh, in Saudi Arabia, Kenyans in Saudi Arabia, they are not free. Like you can't find like me walking outside the way I am. I have to wear hamper and then I have to wrap my head. No matter, it doesn't mean whether you are a Muslim or Christian, but you have to wear hamper and wrap your head. Yes. Uh, one thing I love about Bahrain, Bahrain is a free country, but you must abide by the rules of Bahrain. And the government of Bahrain is very supportive. Like they support the expatriate 100%. It's not like Saudi. In Bahrain, you can sue a Bahraini and you can get justice because the government of Bahrain is supporting the expatriate 100%. Okay. Uh... In Saudi Arabia, by the way, you will find uh, Kenyans in Saudi Arabia, they have a higher amount of salary uh, when it comes to a domestic worker, that is Kadama. Yes! <laughs> That's what I will agree with you. In Bahrain, if you are a household in Bahrain, the salary is low. Like the most of the household, they are paying 80 DD, 85 to 90 DD. That is like 24,000 Kenya shillings. So in Bahrain, the salary of a Kadama is very little. That one I'll agree with you. Okay. But one, uh, thing, one thing, one thing, one thing about Bahrain. In Saudi Arabia, even if you finish a contract, you will not be allowed to work outside. You cannot be allowed to work like in a company. But in Bahrain, if you are a Kadama, if you finish the contract of two years, you are given a grace period of one month uh, to switch from a housemaid job to a skilled job. So you can switch from a housemaid job to another job. That one you are like, you don't need your, the approval of your sponsor as long as you have finished the contract of two years. By the way, Kamati, you have reminded you have reminded me something. Uh, I have a friend uh, of mine. She is there at Bahrain, Alikuwa Kadama for two good years. Na imagine, akambia madam wake ataki kwenda Kenya. Sasa saai, ako baristas. Akaenda akasomea siju ubarista, alafu akaingia kazi ya ubarista. Imagine. Yeah, you know, in Bahrain, it is very easy because there are many, very many schools. You can be paying like maybe, let's say like 10 BD a session if you want to become a barrister. Like most of our sisters here in Bahrain, they do work in coffee shops, but some are waitress. Like you can, you come as a Kadama, but you finish your contract for two years and you get another job. And it just needs your sponsor to give you a release letter. 
you only need to finish the contract and just apply for another job outside. You get an offer letter, you give it to your boss, and it's like that. If your boss refuses to release you, you just go to the nearest police station and you call one of the, of the representatives and they'll come and pick you. By the way, Kamati, uh, a friend of mine, she is Janet. Uh, kuna uyu, kuna jama wa huko representative anaitwa Sijui George. Eh, uh, alisaidiwa na George sasa. Alikujiwa kwa bo, kwa boss na huyo George akaonyesha vitu zenye atafanya with a peace of mind kama madam wake amemrelease kwa uzuri maji. Baje kwa mix moja, kitu moja kama uju. Bahrain unaweza kuwa kama kadamu unalipwa pesa kidogo. But kuna kuna vitu mingi sana zenye utapata kwa mfanyikazi wa ndani wa Bahrain kuliko wa Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia tulipo 30,000 hiyo. Bahrain tulipo 25,000. But Bahrain Saudi Arabia ukimaliza contract utaenda nyumbani. Bahrain ukimaliza contract uko na grace period ya mwezi mmoja kutafuta kazi number 1. Na mwezi ukipita kama hujapata kazi kuna extension. Unaweza ku extend mara mbili hiyo ni miezi tatu utafute kazi. Number two, embassy yetu ya Bahrain yenye tunatumia Kuwait embassy. Embassy yetu yenye iko Kuwait iko very supportive. That's why unaona Kenya representatives wala wako Bahrain wako very active kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu embassy inawapatia full support. Sasa kwa kunahitajika kitu hapa Bahrain, embassy ya Kuwait ita respond haraka sana. Unaona? Bahrain utateseka kama wewe au uh, ni nani utakimbilia unaona kuko na representative 10 na wawili ukipigia umoja kwa sababu kupata msaada kuna huyu mwingine ukipata hauwezi pigia hata 10 na wawili kwa sababu kusaidia so wewe ukipiga ukikuwa baharini unasema unateseka nikupenda kwa kwa sababu kuna njia mingi unaona so me i think baharini kuna kuna freedom freedom yani kuna tu freedom ile freedom tu kabisa kwa sababu unaweza toka hapa uende start mu arabu na upate haki kama mimi ni mstatiki kampuni yangu ya kwanza nikapata haki nilipo pesa zangu na hiyo kampuni ikapigwa fine unaona so i think baharini kuna tuna kuna tuna ile freedom ya kufanya vitu vingine lakini haijamaanisha sababu kuna freedom uvunje sheria utachukuliwa tu okay Aya, guys number, uh... number two. hebu nikwambie sio tunasema kuhusu Saudi na baharini number two. Saudia ukishikwa msichana ukiwa run away utakaa deportation miezi 2 tatu ama 4. Bahrain ukiwa umeshikwa ukiwa kama una kesi ukiwa umeshikwa ukiwa unapotiwa inachukua only 10 days kwa Kenya. Ukijipeleka polisi saa hii si leo ni Wednesday ukijipeleka polisi saa hii walikuwa kemboi next Wednesday uko Kenya. Hawana saa yako ya kuweka hapo ukifanya nini? Kwanza ukiwa na ya ticket unasafirishwa haraka sana speed haraka. So, uh, guys, in Saudi Arabia, we don't have any African shops. You can't find African shops in here, here at Saudi Arabia. Like if you want to eat ugali, you have to cook using samolina. If you want to cook, you use uh, those matawis and you want to make a salad. You see? Yeah. Bahari, you want African shop? You want to Unazaenda ununue kiveri, ununue maindi, motokoi, jahe, marago, ungaugali ya tenga, blue band, royko, nini. Vitu zote zina zinapatika na kene, hata majari ya tetema. Mkita hata hapa utapata. Kuna sukuma wiki zinauzo kwa street. Sukuma wiki, I think, tutasangia live mponyeshe. Tembea hapa gudevi ya utawana sukuma wiki, nini. So, bahari nizo chakula chakula za Kenya ziko. Ziko kabisa, kuna duka za ya Afrika. Kwa za kuna tu duka ya Kenya. Okay, in Saudi Arabia, you will find there is Maka, there is Mandina, whereby all Muslims in the world wanakujanga huku kusali. Kwa hivyo kuna Mandina na kuna Maka, ya. Baharini kuna tree of life. Baharini kuna tree of life. Watu wanataka kutembea hapo. Ndio tunatini mzee, kuna tree of life. Utaenda huko selfie, upige picha, 
hiyo uh, mtu ni mzee sana niko katikati ya jambo na ile kangi na ile anguka kuna kilio fly watu wanaendanga hapo unapiga picha so kwa na maka haimaanishi ati mko na kila kitu mko na maka lakini hamna kilio fly bari tuko na kilio fly <laughs> kamati mm. Yo tree of life inakuanga evergreen ama ni mtu imekauka ama evergreen haikauki na iko katikati ya jungle ah huko ni mahali unaenda unapiga picha kumejaa watu watu wanaendanga huko huko kuna kuna kuanga tu kila wakati kuna watu wameweka tu tent huko wanakaa tu huko unaenda huko unatembea siku mbili wiki moja wow mm. so guys uh huko Saudi Arabia Unapatanga yani wa Kenya wetu wanateseka wanachapwa wengine hata wanaraipiwa na hata mtu aki hakuna mali anaweza anaweza shtaki akienda kuwashtaki maybe huyo boss anaweza anaweza peana pesa huko polisi hiyo kesi iishe yeah Bahrain kuna expert protection unit 995 ukipiga hiyo si hiyo ni ya serikali ya Bahrain in case uko na shida kama wewe ni foreigner ukipiga simu watakuokoa so kuna 995 expert protection unit ukipiga ukiwa na shida na sponsor wako wanaingia kati so Bahrain ukisema unadhulumiwa itakuwa ni yako kama sponsor wako anakudhulumu ama nini unaweza kuripoti so kuna njia nyingi sana so mimi naambia government ya Bahrain imeweka mikakati ya ku protect expatriate na ku protect sponsor Elmare Sanabis hiyo ni ya sponsor na Elmare Selha hiyo ni expatriate so wewe uko na kesi utaenda kwa Selha hiyo ni expert protection unit kama sponsor wako anataka kukuwekea kesi ya ranawe atenda Sanabis manama so serikali ya Bahrain haipendelei mtu yote imeweka sheria yenye ta protect sponsor na sheria yenye ta protect mfanyikazi sasa hizi mimi kampuni yangu ikianza kunisumbua sasa hizi na pengine sijapata representative wata nitapiga kwa 995 niwaambie male niko maisha yangu iko kwa hatari mimi ni mkenya nini na nini na 24/7 hiyo simu iko on na ni ya mwarabu si ati utasema ni ya embassy ya Kenya ama nini ya mwarabu So kama ni kitu yenye wata, wanataka kukudirect kwa representative watakupatia namba na kuambia hii namba ya embassy ya Kenya ndio mtu utapata msaada. Kama ni wao wanataka kukusaidia watakuambia ndio watakusaidia. Wow. So guys, uh, in Saudi Arabia you will find everything is free. Passport is free. All types of medical is free. You will find there is training which is free. Visa, ticket, everything Saudi Arabia for Kenyans. In Bahrain, in Bahrain even in Bahrain everything is supposed to be free. Like if you charge me to give me a job, it is illegal. It's against the law. In Bahrain you are not supposed to charge me to give me a job. So if I have evidence that you have charged me money to give me a job, you will be arrested and your company may be closed. It is against the law to charge someone to give him a job. Kamati. But for you to come to Bahrain lazima ujitafutie passport yako na ujilipie no, medical passport, passport, passport ni yako but ni kinyume na sheria ya Bahrain mtu yote kukitisha pesa ukuje ukiwa ni agent ametumia mwarabu kampuni yako sema ni kampuni imekutisha pesa na umetuma pesa kwa kampuni na uko na evidence ya kuonyesha ya kwamba ulitumia kampuni pesa wa kupatia kazi ukikuja nao ukienda nao kwa ile mare hiyo kampuni inaweza kufungwa na pesa yako watakurudishia na mali kama hapo kama kampuni yenye uko nao si mzuri ufurahii utakuwa ruhusa ya ku exchange sponsor uende kwa kampuni nyingine Okay guys uh, for you to come in Saudi Arabia lazima upitie training lazima upitie training ndio ukuja huku Saudi Arabia hawezi kuja kama ujanini ujaenda training Bahrain si lazima upitie training 
baharini unaweza kuja but ukikuja ukiwa kadama kitu ya kwanza unastahili kujua wewe pita airport mpaka uendoe na sponsor wako so ile ile njia watu wanakuja kazi kwa kampuni wanapitia ni tofauti na ile mwenye anakuja kazi ya nyumba visa ya nyumba na visa ya kampuni ni tofauti sana so ndio unaonanga ukimaliza contract ya miaka mbili unapatiwa ruhusa ya kutoka kwa visa ya housemaid uende kwa hivi visa nyingine kwa sababu ukiwa housemaid uwezi patiwa free visa hiyo ndio kitu moja tofauti na nini ukiwa visa yako inasoma housemaid uwezi kutoa flexi visa sababu visa ya housemaid ni tofauti sana na hizi visa zingine ndio unaona baharini inapatia mfanyikazi wa ndani nafasi ya kutoka kwa kwa visa ya nyumba kwenda kwa hizi zingine ndio waza kupata hizi benefits watu wanapatanga unaona kwa kazi ya nyumba ina benefits small unaona kuna vile mfanyikazi wacha nisemwe kuna vile wafanyikazi wa nyumba kuna vile wanakwamba wamefinyiliwa kipango okay guys another thing in saudi arabia our kenyans are being kidnapped And another thing huku ba, huku Saudi kuna Bahrain wazuri na wabaya wengine hata wanatandika wa Kenya wetu huku Saudi Arabia na tunawajua sana sana damamu Saudi Arabia sasa wa Bahrain Saudi Arabia wanafanya nini wao oh, mekikoroga <laughs> umesema <laughs> Saudi Arabia kuna wa Bahrain wazuri na wabaya wapo wapi <laughs> Guys nasema Huku Saudi Arabia kuna kidnappers ambao wana kidnap wa Kenya wetu. Kwa hivyo watu wakienda kutupa zibala mnakuwa very careful. Wacha ni tusikie ile side nyingine. <laughs> Bahrain alhamdulillah the Bahrain police ni ya namba wao. Bahrain ikifika na upande upande wa security Bahrain wako namba 1. Ikiwa kuna kitu Bahrain they don't joke with is security. The Bahrain police are number 1. They are the best I think in Gulf they are the best. Baharini utaenda report at size tunaweza kwa tutai ni pige simu size police ni sembe hapa kuna harami. Like within two minutes watakuwa hapa. Na si si moja watakuwa hapa. Hakuna kitu unaweza fanya Baharini upotee. Wewe sema uta kidnap mtu hapa uende utaenda wapi? Baharini kidogo sana. So hakuna hiyo mambo na kukidnapiwa ujinga ujinga ya ukora la la. I think police wa Bahrain wanafanya kazi vizuri. Alafu eh Bahrain police they don't harass people. They are very friendly, imagine. Police wa Bahrain atakukuta umekaa tu kwa njia kama wewe umechoka unajua kununulie maji, kununulie chakula, utakuta na yeye akusalimie. They are very friendly. Okay guys, another thing in Saudi Arabia <coughs> Saudi Arabia uh, Kenyans we don't have any freedom. Like we, mtu kama mimi siezi anza ati nitoke hapa niambie madam wangu naenda supermarket niende kuzurura ama maybe niende kusalimia rafiki yangu. Hata kama ni kemboi wanaendanga hivi hivi. Na ukishikwa unapelekwa either deportation center ya yeah, unapelekangwa huko. So huku uh, Kenyans we don't have any freedom. Baharini kama venye nimekwambia Baharini is 100% free. As long as ujavunja sheria Baharini uko huru kuvaa venye unataka. Yaani kufanya kile unataka bora tu ujenda kinyume na sheria. Hakuna mtu atakuja kukuliza hata uvai good shot utembea nao hii manama. Hakuna mtu atakuliza swali. As long as ujavunja sheria. Ndio. No. So Baharini freedom ni 100%. Yo yo iko. That's why unakuta wa Saudi wengi wanakujanga Bahrain. Kwa sababu kuna freedom. Unaona? Kama kesho Thursday ukitembea huku utatukuta tu gari ni ya wa Saudi ni wa Saudi ni wa Saudi. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu hapo wako free kufanya venye wanataka. Kuna vitu wamefungiwa Saudi hawezi fanya wanafanya huku Bahrain. So Bahrain ukikupande wa freedom Bahrain kama Kenya wacha tumkwambie. Bahrain hapa tutatembea na dem kwa njia tumeshikana mkono tunacheka. Yaani tusimame tuanze kama kama ile video tulifanya na na Maria Maria Makio amenishika mashati hivi hivi ndani Saudi ukifanya hivyo utaitiwa uta polisi Lakini bahari wana understand nyinyi ni video mna record tu ya TikTok so hana shida na nini Hata polisi akikuja akute mumeshika na mashati utamwambia ah ni video tunatengeneza tuna ya TikTok utamwambia okay hapa ah, 
Guys, another thing in Saudi Arabia, uh, I w- nilisikia tu sijui kama ni ya ukweli at you are not supposed to take any video ama picha za huku Saudi Arabia. And another thing nikasikia pia huku Saudi akunanga pombe. So sijui ni ukweli ama ni uongo. Sasa kwa Saudi wanakuja kukunyo huku. Hapa tuko na kampuni ya pombe iko hapa Salmania. So Bahrain uko una uko uhuru kukunywa. Bora ile usikunje sheria Bahrain kuna club, kuna bar watu wanaenda kukunywa. Kuna kampuni ya pombe kule watu uko ndio pombe ndio rahisi. So kesho siku moja nitaenda na wewe nikuonyeshe. Uone venye gari zimepanga wakununua pombe. Kwa sababu kwa kampuni pombe ni rahisi. Kwa hapa Salmania. Kutoka hapa niko mpaka hapo ni 5 minutes break. So panga siku moja tenda hapo nikuonyeshe venye watu wanununua pombe nini na nini. Ah uh, uone. Siku moja tutatembea nikutembeze kifeli nikwambie ni night club. In club, in club, in club, in club. Yeah. So, bahari ni simekwambia freedom iko. Utakutana tu na watu hapa mtaani wa Levi, wamekunywa kwa watu zao. Utakutana na mkenya kwa kwa street. Kama juzi ikutana na mkenya fulani hapo, sasa sita usiku nilikuwa nimeenda kuchukua yule kijana passport. Mkenya sijui ni obidi yake ama ni demu yake wakati kwa street. Jumbe, nipeleke kweli. Nimeleka sema wana wa Kenya. <laughs> Anaimba kabisa ni Kiswahili na kwa barabara usiku saa sita. Wamelewa wote wawili dhidi na Bwana. <laughs> Wewe hakuna mtu ako na shida na wao kwa sababu hawajavunja sheria. Si ni na hasa. Hawajavunja sheria. Hao ni starehe zao. Hata polisi akikuja akapita tu. Kwa sababu gani? Hawajavunja sheria yote. Wao wamejinais, wako wawili kivi yao. Sasa kitu chakuwa shida ni kama wako huku illegal, lakini kama wako huku legal. Bado sasa wote hizo sisi PR waangalie kama wako na visa ama wana. Kama wako na visa, masalamu maneno. Kama wana visa ndio watachukuliwa. So guys, I think we are done. Not unless you have something to add at the comment section. Just feel free to do it. Moja, hata nikukumbushe kitu moja. Saudi ya 1 real Saudi, 1 Saudi real. Ni kitu dhati ya mapati 1 pesa ya Kenya. Sawa la la? Sa? 1 dinar. 1 Bahrain dinar. Ni 315 Kenya shillings. Kwa nini utaki kusema hiyo? Oh one one bd is equivalent to 315 Kenyan shillings Kenyan shillings Ah oh, but depending with the rate Size rate iko juu kwa sababu economy ya Kenya iko mbaya So I, rate ya rate ya Bahrain iko juu sana hata kuliko dollar Aya Eh Dio maana wanalipwa 80 bd Ya yeah, ndio na kuna wale sasa so, wacha nikwambie mimi mimi sita kuficha kazi ya nyumba baharini wanalipa pesa kidogo Kazi ya nyumba baharini wanalipa kidogo lakini kuna kazi nzuri nzuri baharini inataka tu connection kuna kazi nzuri nzuri wanalipa vizuri unaona Kuna kazi wanalipa kuna watu wanalipa pesa nzuri baharini unaona kuna mtu anakutolea pesa nyingi yake ili usikute Ushangae kwa sababu ukimultiply na 350 na ile kazi anafanya hakuna utashindwa huyu mtu pesa yake anapewa ya nini unaona kama ati where can one get commi, uh, connection from ama ni kwa hizo ofisi tu aunt lazima mtu alipe commission hizo kazi za nje i was telling you kama vile nimekwambia you are not supposed to pay anything anything you are not supposed to pay anything to get a job in bahrain it is against the law Waivo ni free za hoteli ni but, free Bahrain agent wa Kenya ndio labda anataka kukulia but ukiwa Bahrain ndani au stendi kutisha chocho kazi yote pesa yote ku transfer kwenda kwa kazi na hata ukiwa Kenya ukitishwa pesa na kampuni na ukwe na receipt ya kuonyesha kweli hii kampuni imenitisha pesa ndio nifanye kazi ukikuja hapa lazima pesa yako inishwe bora ukwe na evidence usikuje tu na mdomo that's why unakutanga kampuni nyingi wanataka kukutisha pesa au kukutisha direct wanakwambia patia agent. So kama pesa ulipe agent wa Kenya ukikuja wewe kujia sababu hiyo serikali wezi ile hiyo ulipe agent wake. So unaona ukinakuja na agent lazima ulipe commission sababu uko kazi. But kampuni kama saa hizi si leo kuna mwindi amekuja kutoka India kwa hii kampuni yetu. Amekuja free. Hii kampuni yetu Kenya unaitisha Kenya wanahitaji tu ni passport yako. Watumie passport copy, wako apply visa, wakulipie ticket wewe ukuje kazi hakuna hata nduru unastahili kuitishwa. Kwa hiyo wanajua wakikutisha pesa 
wana hiyo CR inaweza kuwa cancel. Ah. Mm. Do you have anything to add? So mwachange kujisifu sana Saudia. Saudia ndio Saudia ni nchi kubwa tunakubali na baharini ni mtoto wa Saudia. Hiyo ni kitu tunasali tutakubali. Lakini kulingana na venye serikali ya baharini iko na Saudia ni kumbili tofauti. Saudia baharini wanategemea Saudia sana. Sana sana sana. Hiyo ni kitu tunasali kukubaliana. Kwa kuna vitu baharini wazifanya bila ruhusa ya baharini, bila ruhusa ya Saudia. Saudia wana support baharini pakubwa sana kwa sababu ni familia hiyo. Familia moja. Lakini kulingana na venye wanaendesha nchi yao ni tofauti sana na kulingana na venye Saudia inaendesha nchi yao. Sheria yenye natumika hapa Bahrain na sheria yenye natumika Saudia ni tofauti. Lakini ni watoto wa familia hiyo moja. Bila Saudia hakuna Bahrain. Hiyo ndio kitu watu wanastahili ku understand. Kwa sababu Saudia wanasaidia sana Bahrain ndio kuwe. So Saudia wakikata wakikata msaada Bahrain imeisha. So Bahrain tunakutumia Saudia sana. By the way si Saudi ndio uh, Gulf country kubwa kabisa si ndio? Eh ndio kubwa lakini si the richest. <laughs> okay which is the richest? Qatar. Ati Qatar. Qatar is the richest country in Gulf. Saudi si wako na mafuta, wako na mafuta yao. Ujui kwa nini kuna shindango wa kirusha mabomu? Sikiza nikwambie, Saudi wanaweza kuwa na mafuta, wanaweza kuwa na gold na kila kitu, but Saudi is the richest. Enda ukupe uone. Qatar iko na Qatar the richest. Qatar bila itajiri Gulf. Iko na Qatar ile eh, iko na vitu vingi sana sikumbuki wacha nitakwangalia lakini Qatar mimi najua Qatar ndio ile nchi tajiri gal. Aya na Dubai. Saudi hata si namba 2. Wacha hata hivyo namba 1. Hata si namba 2. Eh. Mm. Endo Google uone. Saudi hapo na vitu vingi. Saudi hapo na vitu vingi ni Kenya wameshindwa, wanashindwa kukuzitumia vizuri. Wangetumia ile ile mali na rasilimali yenye wako nayo vizuri. Saudi ni kwa nchi tajiri sana. Lakini ni wako nayo lakini wajuu kutumia. Qatar wako na kidogo lakini wametumia vizuri ndio maana Qatar ni tajiri. Kama hapo kama Reina kuna mafuta ni gas peke yake lakini wako na pesa. Na ukiulizwa Dubai utasema du, Dubai ni nini? Dubai ni city ama ni country ama ni nini? Dubai ni state. Wow. Unajua mimi kitambo nilikuwa nasema Dubai ni country. Si kwa anajua Aha. kama kuna UAE, eh, Abu Dhabi. Dubai na naona kuna Dubai, kuna Abu Dhabi, kuna Al Qaima, kuna Sharjah. Zote zimeunganishwa zika nini kitu moja inaitwa United Arab Emirates, UAE. Wanani so, ni Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi ndio ile kubwa. Abu Dhabi ndio kubwa. So Dubai ni kaste. Dubai tu Dubai ime iko na mambo mingi lakini Abu Dhabi ndio kubwa. Eh. Hey. So, so Dubai si nchi. Ah? Uh? Dubai si nchi. Eh, hey, Dubai is not a country. So watu wa... tutamalizia hapo na kamati una uko na kitu ya kumalizia ama tumalize tu. Wewe ukaulizwa saa hii Saudi ya Dubai, Bahrain, Qatar unaweza kaka kwa nchi gani? Dubai. Kwa nini Dubai? Ai. Huko unajua kuna kuanga na freedom sana, alafu kuna opportunities za kazi ziko mingi. Alafu huko ni kama mbese wengi and connected to. Eh? Unaona? Stop fooling yourself. Uh, Dubai kuna opportunities za kazi na wakenya wanalala kwa street. Wachana nao vijana ni huyo huyo mjinga ndo walikuwa Hapana wasichana wanalala kwa street kukosa kazi Unasema nikaizo kazi ziko Dubai ni gani Kosi kuna kesi mingi sana watu wanalala kwa street Dubai <coughs> By the way life side Dubai, life Dubai is very expensive my friend Life Dubai is very expensive 
Usidanganyo na mtu. Weje badala ya kwenda Dubai hata badala uende Qatar mara mia. Lakini kamati saa hii Dubai hakuna job lakini kitambo zilikuwa alafu wamechoma wa Kenya Africans wamechoma. Wacha nikwambie mimi nikiuliza bila kupendelea bila kupendelea kuongea tu ukweli. Inchi nzuri kwenda kufanyia kazi kama hapa Gulf. I think ni Qatar. I think ni Qatar. Ah. Yeah, Qatar kuna nafasi nyingi za kazi. Qatar wanalipa vizuri. Unaona? Ni watu wachache sana utakuja wakicomplain kuhusu mshahara Qatar. Unaona? So I think inchi nzuri tu ya kufanya kazi Gulf kwa Wakenya mimi naweza sema Qatar. Kwa hivyo huko kuna opportunities mingi. Sana. Qatar ziko sawa. Ah. Uwezi kompea Qatar na Saudi, uwezi kompea Qatar na Bahrain, uwezi kompea Qatar na Dubai. Unaona? Qatar kuna nafasi mingi za kazi. Okay. Haya tunafunga show. Sawa. Tufungie basi. Mimi kila kila nazungumzia watu, watu wa maintain peace wakati wa election, wa maintain peace, watu wasipigane, siende kuchomea jirani yako nyumba. Tusi, tusi tukanane mimi na wewe tusikosane kwa sababu mkuu wangu ameshindwa kama nini. Alafu kitu moja nadha nikasema kabla sijaenda. Wa Kenya tusikubali kutumiwa vibaya na wa Kenya wenzetu. Akuwe ni mzazi wako, akuwe ni mama yako, akuwe ni ndugu yako, ulikuja Gulf kwa sababu ya shida zako, ulikuja Gulf kwa sababu ya shida za kwenu. Support familia ni vizuri, baki familia wasiweke kwa shida. Naona? Na kwa sababu ya kusema hivyo mtajua very soon. Ndana mtajua very soon. Kwa nini nasema usikubali mzazi akuwestie maisha sababu ni mzazi wako. So kwa mwangalifu maisha yako ni ya maana sana. Sina mengine hivyo. Okay, bye. Yala na salamu.